is up guys, Andy Forrest, Dean Renner here and welcome back to another video and today I'm taking you guys out on a full week of running training. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, excited to bring this one to you. It's been a while since I've done a typical running week video or any form of decent training series. So what my goal is with this one is to bring all of the newer subscribers up to speed. And for those of you who have been around for a while, kind of give you a bit of an idea as to how I'm going to be training over the next two or three months before we start this London marathon block. For the new subscribers out there, in terms of levels and PBs, I'm going to throw those out there for you so you can have an idea as we're going through the week the time of relative paces that I'm running whether it's 5k, 10k, half marathon in workouts and moderate runs to light today and all of that stuff so 10k, 34, 12, half marathon, 75, 17 and marathon, 244, 38 I think so that's kind of my level uh, and uh, what I'll do throughout the week as I said is on certain runs like today I'll throw out the paces on screen, all the stats that I can, and then explain where that is in terms of zones and relative paces to what have you. So I always kickstart things, or most of the time, with a moderate Monday. Moderate running is somewhere between marathon pace and easy pace. So in terms of easy paces, that is usually 7.20, 7.30 per mile and slower. And Although I haven't run a marathon for a while, my last marathon training block uh, was geared around 6 to 6.10 per mile. So my moderate pace is usually float in and around the 6.40s. Pretty much slap bang in the middle. In terms of heart rate zones, uh, I usually average late 140s. So if you're a math runner and you do 180 minus your age, I'm 34, so that would be, what is that? 146 hopefully that's right uh, and then obviously you plus and minus five depending on if you fit or if you're not fit right well, I'm in good shape at the moment so if I plus five that that's 151 so basically what I'm doing is running top end of that uh, easy math zone uh, obviously later in the week I'll take you through a proper easy run but that's the purpose of the modern run that's what I like to do and that's how I kickstart my Monday. Rolling straight into Tuesday now after uh, yesterday's moderate. That was great. Really enjoyed that. And today, and my uh, and my weekly plan, Tuesdays are always going to be that fast one. Unless there's a race on the weekend, that fast interval workout, the uh, VO2 max style reps. Um, really targeting that five and ten k work again and found my old Tuesday sessions to be really beneficial. The main difference is because I'm heading out to the trails, uh, I'm not going to be doing things by distance. going to be doing everything in this block by time. So this is a time based training block. So I'm getting two and a half miles warm up done and then I'm going to do a couple of drills and strides and roll straight into six by 130 on and with a really light jog recovery so that would be just over 400 meters uh, and then four by 30 four by 30 seconds uh, with a minute very light jog recovery so i prioritize the floating uh, in between reps really in the second half of a block in this first half i'm really trying to work on that top end speed and uh, not worry so much about the floating really kind of try and bump that ceiling up of my uh, of my uh, speed and then bring all the other paces up with it in the second half of the block so that's the goal today just heading out now as I said into linear park onto the trail to uh, to get this one done Done. 
So that ended up being really, really good and really, really, really quick. First time ever I've done a workout like that and averaged all sub five minute mile pace. So I didn't particularly have a pace in mind. I knew that low fives was where I was at in the last block for this sort of rep and for 400 meters. Um, so to go for 40s and 450s is uh, a real encourager and for week one obviously I know the fatigue will set in but it's a blooming good start and then the 30 seconds were all mid to low fours and I think a couple of them I actually split the 200 mark so you know a couple of 200s in there that were 30 and 31 seconds just feeling good and strong and I think uh, for me and my philosophy I like to take I like to make the most of those good days when you're feeling good embrace them grab them run with it so to speak and when you're feeling bad you just grind through it and get get what you can done done but uh, yeah real positive start gonna get a two and a half mile cool down done now rest day tomorrow Wednesday and I'll see you on Thursday welcome to Thursday had a nice rest day yesterday and today is all about the fart lake workout so just to give you a little bit of context because I realized I didn't really do that on Tuesday the types of paces and stuff I was running was quicker than I've ever run but the goal in those types of you know really intense workouts is to kind of hit between three and 5k pace don't get me wrong that would be really ambitious for me to hit those paces uh, in a 3k race but you you get the gist it's really is that top end uh, sort of pace work that I'm trying to do and then the 200s were just as quick as I could go today is all about 10k pace but not pace effort so I'm hitting the rolling trails the whole point of this training block is to hit the trails use the undulations to my uh, benefit and get strong that's what I love to do especially in the summer when the weather is really really good as it is today all by the fact that it is a heck of a lot windier than it usually is so normally what well, my last 10k pb was was 527 so normally what i would try and hit if i was doing this by pace would be around 524 to 525 that's my goal 10k pace at the end of this block to break 34 minutes that's what i would like to achieve but it's all about effort today because we're going to be going up going to going down and we're going to be on flat so it's all going to be done on effort and it's going to probably range somewhere between five flats and then five fifties depending on the type of hill we've got to come up a really big hill on the second loop that we're going to do so that's the range but most of them are going to be in and around the five teens to five thirties in that window with some extremities either side so that's the goal today and the actual workout building on last week's fun little 20 by one minute on one minute off is to now do 16 by 90 seconds on with a minute off uh, and the goal for me today again that's a 40 minute workout 39 minutes so same volume as last time just a little bit more intensity 24 minutes worth of intense volume 16 minutes worth of floats and as i just said it's all about the floats today so whereas on tuesday i was really working and pushing that top end and letting myself recover in between today is all about working on that keeping that heart rate a little bit higher keeping the floats a little bit more honest so not letting the heart rate go down too much and the floating pace hopefully will be in the late sixties at late sixes early sevens with the paces of the reps as i said between the five tens and the five thirties so that's the goal today working on that endurance obviously thinking ahead to uh, london need to start building up that endurance need to start thinking about that in these workouts now even though i'm not even in that block yet i'm trying to be a bit smart and think ahead so that's the goal today i'm just walking up to the green gate I've done a 15 minute warm up do a couple of drills and strides and off we go Eight out of 16 done into the wind now up a big hill and then uh loop back round going well so far we go 6.58 miles 556 per mile uh yeah let's give you some watch stats a lot of recovery there that was really good um I mean, i'll tell you what i did last week which is why i did it again this week and i'm going to be doing a lot more is there's a hill that i chuck in around rep 
11, 12, 13 today and the wind was with me but last week I did it and I found it's a good way to disrupt the workout and teach me to be patient and then still have something to kick on afterwards in the last two or three reps and it's exactly what I did again today just kind of patient up there I think that was a 603 up the hill wind in my face it was horrible but able to kick on and get 520s again on the last couple of reps so you know I can't complain really really happy with that um I'll give you some proper stats on screen with like reps average and floats but all the floats bar two or three of them were in the sixes so yeah absolutely fantastic workout really happy with that solid solid run on to tomorrow and welcome to Friday out here on the trails. Friday is always my easy day, um, so nothing particularly exciting for me to report other than just to give you some idea on paces. So in terms of easy days, if I'm out on the concrete, um, then it's usually 7.20 and above. But out on the trails, obviously, ups and downs, 7.30s and above. And I think right now I'm kind of like halfway through I think I'm averaging around 7.40 something. I really am taking it quite relaxed. Legs are, legs are a little bit heavy today. Uh, yesterday's workout was a good one. So I'm just uh, enjoying the sun and the trails. And Friday is usually uh, my main relaxing, easy day of the week. I don't go by heart rate. I do go by feel, but I do keep an eye on the heart rate when I upload the runs to Strava, just to see if what I'm feeling is actually what is uh, sort of being related to in terms of data so if I feel like I'm running easy does the heart rate correlate to that so like usually I like to try and keep it mid 130s uh, low 130s is great but mid 130s 34 134 to 136 is kind of usually where my uh, easy runs come out to so we'll see about that obviously the data will be on screen you'll see that and uh, nothing more to say other than Fridays are all about the easy day and we'll roll on to the best run of the week the long run good morning you join me out here on the trails for the long run baby yes this is my favorite run of the week so let me give you a little bit of an explanation as to what I'm doing what the purpose is what the paces are all of that good stuff so Tuesday as you know we hit the top end paces <coughs> Thursday was all about that 10k effort and today we're going to be doing a little bit of tempo work not much the legs are uh, a feeling it after Thursday still uh, heart rate I having to do a couple of checks heart rate is nice and controlled so it's not my body being tired it's uh on my system it's more uh, more just the legs so at the moment i'm doing moderate pace moderate warm-up then i'm going to kick into 10 by three minutes on one minute off um and that's those three minutes are going to be somewhere between half marathon and marathon pace it's gonna be near a marathon pace um near a six flat 605 just because my legs feel a little bit dead this morning so i don't intend on pushing it I intend on looking back at the week, realising I've got in some really quality work and uh, basically not to jeopardise next week's training. In and around that, it's all moderate running. So, so far, I'll show you now, 4.78 miles and to the right there, average pace 6.51 per mile. So, lower end of moderate, but as I said, I'm uh, letting the legs tell me what they want rather than pushing the pace or trying to force anything and the goal is going to be in and around over two hours uh, now realistically you don't need to run that long in 10k training i think if i started normally i'd be running 90 minute long runs peaking at two hours but uh, i just love the long runs i love them and i'm trying to balance training hard with doing what i enjoy and uh, that is just being out time on feet for as long as possible so it's going to be between 40 to 50 minutes depending on how i feel moderate i'll click into the workout which is 40 minutes in total and then another 40 to 50 minutes moderate to uh, wrap it up so three loops today of this where i am half road half trail Brookside Hyperion Tempo for the win 
and uh, when I get to the end of the first loop, we're going to kickstart this thing. Here we go then, 15 minutes moderate warm up, 6.49 per mile pace, here we go, kicking into 10 by 3 right about now. Go, that's five done uh, halfway through this little uh, workout it's averaging around the six flat pace um, some slightly above some slightly below pushed up a really really big hill on rep number two so that was fun another five to go and then just a moderate cool down Workout complete, which is great because I am uh, <laughs> rather tired. I realised actually, I didn't eat a lot yesterday, so um, I'm not surprised I'm not feeling particularly on top of the world. I did take a gel throughout that workout and now I'm just doing a moderate cool down. So I reckon on average, those reps were low sixes. Uh, I had a couple, uh, three juicy little hills in there but the last two are in the 550s, so uh, yeah, solid, solid work. So there we go, that's a wrap for my week of training. What I'll do is I'll put uh, the final stats on screen for today. As it stands, I've run one hour 43. Um, my guts are playing up a little bit, so as much as I wanted, two hours 10, two hours 20, I might have to settle for two hours and dive at home. I'll see, see what happens, but overall, a really, really solid week hitting all the paces i wanted if not better and uh wrapping the week up with a challenging long run some good hills in this um so overall big thumbs up hope you enjoyed it hope it gives you a bit of an insight into my training hope it gives you an idea as to how i like to train and paces and all that gubbins and uh, yeah if you did please make sure you give the video a like share with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always i'll see you in the next one until then.